Hello everybody, and welcome back to Hajime no Ippo Fighting Spirit. This is the tournament that I have been hosting. We are near the end. We are at the end of round three, uh, right before the semifinals. And the tournament itself is nearing, you know, the end. Um, today we have Brian Hawk, who has a total of six downs technically. Versus Sawamura Ruhi, who has technically uh, seven, so he has that advantage over Brian Hawk. Now, this fight cannot happen. They both have spiky hair and like evil eyes or evil eyebrows. Um, they're both evil. This is like the Mashiba versus. Ruhi fight, Samura Ruhi, because they're both kind of crazy. So this is a total, I just realized that this is a total just crazy fight. Um, crazy man fight. We have Brian Hawk, who is a middleweight. I'm not 100% sure. Wow, that was a good start by Samura versus Samura, who is in a featherweight. So... Brian Hawk has a lot of speed, like a lot, plus he has flexibility, plus he has strength, plus he's, you know, kind of not really, you know, controllable, not, he's like wild. Um, so there's that, <laughs> like you see he just did that, so he can dodge like that, but Samura has the speed and the counter and like, they both have ruthlessness, which makes me, I'm not sure who would win. I mean, for sure, I think Brian Hawk would win in a real fight just because of the strength um, difference. The, 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 the weight difference. But um, Summer is definitely holding his own, which really, really surprises me because we just saw Takamura versus Ricardo. And that went totally away I did not expect, and it's kind of just like this one. Only Brian Hawk is doing a lot better than Takamura. Though Takamura was up against the featherweight world champ. That speed, that's the thing that gets Brian Hawk in this game down. It's just that really fast speed. You like that, body blow. That's what I talked about in a few episodes before. That's how you defeat Brian Hawk. Is you jab and then you you know, to get him to dodge, and it's the same with Vorg. You do you punch to get him to dodge, and then you body blow. Because he can't dodge the body blow, unless you, you know, move to the side. Um, so already one down for Brian Hawk. He has five more to go. I think Samura w is going to win this. Brian Hawk was close, somewhat close to a down, but Samura actually got the down. Break the guard? No, wow. Oh yeah. Sorry, I was thinking about something. Break the guard? Broke the guard, but you couldn't capitalize on it because you ran out of stamina. Infinite punch. Infinity punch. My bad. Break the guard? No. No stamina. He's definitely doing better this round, but... I have a feeling that Samura is just toying with him. That? Could have done something there. Ooh, nice dodge. There's the infinite punch. Break the guard? No. Oh! No, alright. <laughs> um, wow, Samura has uh, one flame and like almost half flame juice. Well, Brian Hawk's not. A, uh, he's somewhat close to one, but. Brian Hawk definitely doing better this. Being a lot more offensive. Break the guard and capitalized on it. Good. And countered really well. Ooh, somehow faster. And he gets a down. 
That doesn't make it equal, because I believe, yeah, Samara has still one more down over Brian Hawk. But it's good that Brian Hawk got him down. I honestly did not expect that, and I was hoping this would be a lot better of a fight than last time. Though last time, I guess there was an understa understanding, which, that was a good counter. Oh, but I guess that was technically a counter. Um... Summer has almost, in his golden form, oh, not almost, I should say. He has two flames. That was a good dodge. Well, Brian Hawk only has one. There you go. Do something on that, which he tried, but he was a bit too slow. I don't know if you could do anything about that. You can't really be faster, and that's a good way to block as well. Oh, but the counter. Counter combo. Brian Hawk is good with his combos, and like, unlike a lot of other AIs. Ooh, both dashed into each other. Good. Oh, that he's fast. Samura is fast. Brian Hawk definitely doing... Oh, well. It's whatever I say, the opposite happens. Wow, Samura is doing really well. Look at him. Oh, wow, he actually is. And he hurt Brian Hawk. Like, he's getting him swollen. And Samura is really close to gold, going golden for him, which... That was actually a really good exchange right there. It was a counter dodge. That was just really, really good. Summer has his golden form, which is a lot of stats up. His speed is going to be even better now. Also, you know how... S oh, wow. I think that's the flash. The, the, the move that I think wasn't in the... Didn't, I, were, I didn't think was in the game. I'm really, <laughs> it's like 11, I, I'm usually, I go to bed really early, but that's no excuse, I'm just gonna, just bear with me, um, I thought the flash wasn't in this game, that was a good counter, but uh, apparently that is, after I saw the wiki page on this and it saw Samara had the flash and then I thought, saw Samara fight and it was like, could that be the flash, cause it's like a flash of light. Plus he's using his right hand, only when he does it to Ippo, it's a right hook. And it's a counter, which technically what he does could be a counter as well, if he uses it right. But um, they just kind of use it as like a, almost like a downward right, like a chopping right. So it was just a bit confusing to me, which, my bad. That? Oh, wow, that speed, though. Brian Hawk almost has his... Oh! Here's the uppercut that is very generic in the game. His eyes go white. Um... Summer is <laughs> definitely kicking ass. Uh, so, I don't recall Samura ever using Dragonfish Blow, but it's in this game. And it's in, on his wiki, so I'm thinking he must have done it, right? I just don't remember when. That was a good block, and that gave him golden mode. So this is a huge stat bo boost, but jabs of doom. Dangerous. Um, Summer knows Dragonfish Blow, which I don't recall him ever doing. So if you can maybe help me out and tell me which fight... Like, in, 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 if it's in the middle of it or something where he actually uses it, I would appreciate it because I did not see it. Oh, you could have dodged or countered like that, but faster. But I understand because Samara is really fast. Break his guard? Oh, I couldn't capitalize. Now he has regen guard, so that doing that is pointless. That, good, but that speed. Break the guard? No. Definitely got him in the corner, can't capitalize, now his health is, or his guard is regened. Get him down. Get him down. Oh, that speed. Can't get him. His health is regening, which is not good. Brian Hawk could have gotten him down. I understand low stamina and he can't, but he could have. There it is. That was weird. <laughs> There's another hitbox. Weirdness for you.
Um, Summer is in a two, has two more downs, or like has a two more down lead, I believe, on Brian Hawk. Oh, that was good. Brian Hawk has to dodge backwards and then press. Well, I mean, I don't know what the computer presses, but he has to do his special, which is a huge wind up, so you can see it from very far away. Oh, but that was a good counter. Um, so I think Summer will be able to stop every time that happens, just because he can even he can stop Brian Hawk from attacking. Oh, wow, and he gets him into the uppercut. Actually, it makes sense that... I mean, it doesn't really make sense why, but I can understand why Samura has Dragonfish Blow, because his last name is... The dragon. Well, it has Dragon in it. Because I was thinking, my, this is, my mindset is totally weird. It goes to weird places like elephants. Oh, elephants have tusks. Tusks are rhinos. Rhinos are in Fallout. You know, it's not in Fallout, but it's just kind of how my mind goes. Um, so I was thinking, like, Samara ha should have, like, a dragon finisher, right? Like, maybe his fist turns into a dragon, you know. Just something, this is the, the first thing that my mind thought of. Just something like that. And then Dragonfish Blow came into my mind. So this is very, very surprising. I did not think it would go like this, but I guess I didn't take in wow, he's swollen. I didn't take into account that Samura is very, very fast. <laughs> in, uh, compared to Brian Hawk. So if it's Wally versus Brian Hawk, in, in this game at least. Brian Hawk would have a very difficult time. There's that flash that I didn't know was the flash, but now it makes sense. Because it flashes in. Can you get him? No, he's not going to get him down. No. Close, though. His eyes shut. Aw. Oh, so there's something I learned about Brian Hawk that I did not know about. That... Uh, that um, when he goes into his, what's it called? When his eyes go green and red, like his pupils go green and his eyes actually go red. Um, I can't think of a name right now, but it's something like a drug. It's something the same as a drug, but I just can't remember what it's called. Um, anyway, he does that in the show, you know, he does the same, and in the manga, he does the same, but in the manga, when that happens, it usually happens when he gets really excited, or like, you know, evil, um, he also gets a boner. So, that's something I didn't know. Trivia for you, Hajime no Ippo fans, if you guys did not know. So, Brian Hawk is actually doing well. But it's still probably two downs, has two downs less, if that makes sense. I never know how to word that right. Samara is in the lead with downs, I believe, still, by at least, like, a lot. <laughs> but if he, oh, he ran into that. This is his third time doing that. Brian Hawk doesn't go down, but definitely, you know, dangerous. And he goes, oh, wow. Oh, you could have done your special and Samura would have gone down. Jabs of Doom, <laughs> gotta be careful. Good, Bro broke his guard and hit him. Oh, but Jabs of Doom, Jabs of Doom. Not good. Yeah, I'd probably wait the whole time to just kind of reset it. Maybe I wouldn't. Because I Samara is really low. Maybe if I was Brian Hawk in that situation, me playing this game, maybe I would rush at like f 5 or something just to give myself more time. And I would just completely rush and not kind of worry about consequences. Just to get that down and try and get him a bit more 
I guess, worried, plus me get that kind of relief. So this is the last match of round three, then we go to the semifinals, and then the final. So this tournament is close to an end, sadly. But then we have the strongest losers, and I'm looking into doing another tournament, because I real I like commentating, commentating, commentating tournaments a lot. And I'm just trying to think of another good one. If you guys have suggestions, please tell me. Um, I feel like this is a good one because I know they're not people, but this game allows you to control your body really well, I think. Um, so I was thinking something like Dragon Ball Z or Naruto. Of course, it has to be computer versus computer. Unless, it, you know, people online I can get. Um, but, uh... Just something, you know, I feel like the, in this, people can control themselves a lot, you know, really well. Um, you know, there's a lot of close dodges. Wow, Brian Hawk performs a, a jab of doom. Um, but something like Dragon Ball Z, it's, or like in Naruto, it doesn't feel like you have as much control. Like, Circle can also, like, kick, punch, and stuff. You know, that makes sense. You, you don't... You, a lot of buttons, you know, got to do a lot of things with them. Does that make sense? I don't think I'm making much sense. This game just seems like a really good change for a tournament. Just because it feels like they're actually playing. Uh, I don't think that makes sense either. Ooh. Brian Hawk survive. Brian Hawk survive. No. Back off. Please. Phew. <sighs> I don't know how many down. I think Summer has... Two more downs until he can't get up anymore, which is definitely not good for Brian Hawk, but it's not bad either. He broke his. He's definitely doing a lot better, Brian Hawk. Ooh, I was gonna say, don't keep on punching Adam. At him, Adam. Dodge like that, yeah. Dodge, do your special, he'll definitely go down. That's another good break. Guard break. Ooh. Definitely, he's in the corner. Oh, but Brian Hawk kind of gets out of it. Ooh, good, good. That was really good. I don't know what that's called, but... Wow, Brian Hawk destroying now with zero chances. If he goes down, he goes down. I don't believe Samura has gone black and white yet. Swollen. I think this is his last chance. They're both at zero downs, I think. Break his guard, you can't, that's fine. Just do your special. Oh, but he did the shiny blue guard. So that regens his guard. Oh, there it is. He's swollen. I don't know if this makes any difference, but it's, I think it's just kind of aesthetic. Kind of, you feel like you actually, you actually done something. Yes! No! <laughs> it was perfect. You could have done your thing. You could have done it again. You could have done it again. Oh, but be careful. Okay, just be careful. Don't do your thing, which you could have done yet again. But seriously, get him down. Did Brian Hawk just win? I did not think it was going to go like that. He could get up again. I could have done math wrong or stuff. Oh, oh. but Brian Hawk is definitely destroying now. If this has to be Samara's last down, so they can't, if one of them goes down, they can't get up, no matter who it is. I'm almost positive. Ooh, could have capitalized. Broke his guard, break his guard, yes. Ooh, can't break his guard, but maybe close to. There, break his guard. Ah. Oh. He's really close to doing it. Dragonfish blow, which, again, 
if somebody could tell me where that comes from. I know it comes from Kimura. I want to know where Samura picked it up. What episode, what uh, chapter he used it on. Finish it. No, Brian Hawk. This is. I want Brian Hawk to win because... Not because I think he'd be a better match against Ricardo. I think it'd be a worse match. Um, I want Salamura to win, but just for the comeback. Because I think Salamura versus Ricardo would be a better fight than Brian Hawk versus Ricardo. But maybe I'll get what I want. I mean, I want Brian Hawk, Hawk to win because of the comeback. Ooh, but... Maybe I spoke too soon. Oh. That would have been overkill. Oh, double counter. Jabs of doom. Oh my god, they're so close. He tried to... Oh no. <laughs> I've never been that into a fight, I don't think. Just because how close it was. That's really sad. It's just the comeback I wanted. But I, it'll be a better fight in the future, I think. But just he had zero downs left, right? Uh, Brian Hawk had zero downs, and he made Salamura go down like four times. It was cl definitely close, and I definitely enjoyed it. And I hope you all enjoyed it, and I hope you all... Well, actually, before that, Brian Hawk joins the strongest loser, so he has a chance to fight David Eagle and Brian Hawk. David Eagle lost, correct? Yeah, he lost to Brian Hawk. Um, so... Yeah. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm just trying to figure out stuff, but I'll let you go. Um, Brian Hawk joins the strongest loser, and Samura advances to fight Ricardo Martinez in the semifinals. And we have what three more videos after this to find out who's the strongest. We have Wally versus Alfredo, which. They're both in featherweight, which could happen versus Ricardo versus Alfredo versus Wally and Ricardo versus Almura, both featherweight, both could have happened. So featherweights really dominated this entire tournament. Um, we could potentially see Wally versus Ricardo, which would be interesting, but What's really interesting is Alfredo versus Ricardo, because Alfredo has challenged Ricardo a bunch of times for the turn or for the win, and they both kind of fight the same, so that could be cool. Anyway, sorry to keep up your time. Um, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you all have a good day.